Hello, it's Sol with a Shadowlands preparation video guide thing. I'm going to touch on a few more or less obvious things to consider before the Shadowlands pre-expansion patch launches in just a couple of weeks. But to help you out, let's start with the very obvious, the major things that are going away in the patch. I'm going to put up a helpful graphic here for you to take a screenshot of, or, you know, write it down, memorize it in your head, whatever. Knock out whatever's on this checklist as soon as you can. And now for the less obvious things. First, get rid of all those extra experience potions that you have, like the Elixir of Rapid Mind. Those are for people out there who don't care for the new level experience coming in the pre-patch, and that's totally okay, so just make some extra gold off of them by selling these before they turn gray. Or, if you don't want to wait yourself, hey, feel free to use them. Knock yourself out. But if you're planning on leveling alts post Shadowlands, I suggest stocking up on the Draft of 10 Lands, which is only obtainable via Horde or Alliance Service Medals. These only work up to level 50, but they're also pretty much the only experience boosts that you have left, because heirlooms are, yeah, well, whatever. Service Medals are farmed by completing faction assaults in Kul Tiras and Zandalar, and also a big chunk from Warfronts, which may or may not be easy to run after everyone moves on from Battle for Azeroth. Massive, massive changes are coming to professions. It's hard to explain in a few words, but in so few words, every crafting profession discipline, from vanilla to legion and battle for Azeroth, have pretty easy access to gear that scales up to an item level of 100, which is the equivalent to normal Nihilotha gear. Some crafting recipes have been buffed on their own, while others will require a relic of the past to get it to the higher item level. This is done to make crafting feel relevant, no matter what your expansion you level your alt in, but in this case, it's also a really cheap way to prepare your characters for Shadowlands content. So take a look at your inventory, or your ranks, or your alt, or whatevers, for cheap materials. Or maybe consider buying up a lot of those underpriced materials on the auction house, and then flip it for huge profits after the patch. In fact, some materials are so cheap that you can even just make a profit by vendoring these crafted goods. So I advise taking a look at the PTR, then take a look at your realm and start studying up. While this guide is mostly for the pre-patch, it's worth mentioning that Season 1 of Shadowlands will start only two weeks after the expansion's launch. That doesn't necessarily mean that you've got to rush, 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 but you may want to think about what characters you want to prioritize, if you're the type who likes having a whole stable of alts. One route that I'd recommend is to focus on the character that you think can level the fastest. That way, your first character will go through that mostly on-rails leveling experience, while your alts are going to be free to level in any zone that they like. But more importantly, for gatherers, they can collect resources in whatever zone they wish. Here's a neat trick for those of you who are interested in leveling a Death Knight, or a Demon Hunter, or like a lot of them. In Shadowlands, these classes will basically start at level 1, like everyone else. But if you make one now, they start at either level 55 or 100, we know this. But what that means is that when the patch drops, that Death Knight is going to be level 23, and a Demon Hunter will be level 40 or so. And remember, the new level cap, at least in the pre-patch, is 50. That's a nice boost to skip a ton of leveling if, if that's what you're aiming for. Two classes that will immediately get a lot of cosmetic leaven are druids and hunters. If you haven't already obtained one of the versions of Vandral's Flame Scythe in Firelands, hop onto a character that can unlock that transmog and start farming now. You'll be able to unlock the Firecat appearance at your barbershop. Meanwhile, hunters will be able to tame Cloud Serpents if you have a special tome, How to School Your Serpent, which is purchased by the Order of the Cloud Serpent Quartermaster if you're exalted with their faction. As a plus for hunters, they're also getting a big expansion on other beasts that they can tame, along with an expanded stable. So those are your five things, and I hope that this was of some inspiration. Whatever the case though, please hit that like button if you thought this was helpful, and subscribe for more of this, and Shadowlands coverage, and all things Warcraft. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy.